Hi everyone. Today's video is going to be about comparing fractions with the same numerator. So the first thing you need to do is divide your paper into four sections. Make sure you do this step because this will help you manage your space so that you don't use up too much space and then run out at the end. Make sure you have your title at the top of the page. Um, remember, like always, to pause the video as you go along so you can have enough time to write your notes and make sure you watch the video for a second time after you finish uh, writing all your notes down. All right, for the same first section, we're going to draw two strips, two rectangles. Remember that when we're comparing fractions, we want our holes to be the same size. So try your best to make your fraction strips here the same size. The first strip I'm going to divide into four pieces. So my denominator is going to be 4. My second one, I'm going to divide into 8 pieces. So my denominator here is 8. Now I'm going to shade in. In the first one, I'm going to shade in 3. That makes my fraction 3 fourths. And in the second one, I'm also going to shade 3. That makes my fraction 3 eighths. So like I said here, we have the same numerators, 3 and 3. The difference here is our denominator. On the first fraction, I have 4 as the denominator. That means that my whole is broken up to, into 4 equal pieces. In my second one, I have 8 as a denominator. denominator. That means it's broken into 8 equal pieces. So when we have 3 fourths and 3 eighths, we want to see which one is greater, which one is less. So I have 3 fourths and 3 eighths. I know that if I take my whole piece and uh, divide it into four pieces, those pieces are going to be bigger than if I have to divide it into eight pieces. In any fraction, the more pieces you have to split it into, the smaller they become. So here, 3 fourths is greater than 3 eighths. Just because of the size of the pieces when we divide it into less, the pieces are bigger. When we divide it into more pieces, they get smaller. Okay, now I'm going to put it in words. 3 fourths is greater than 3 eighths. Okay, your notes should look something like this right now. We still have three sections blank and we filled in the first one. Okay, in this next section, we're going to look at our holes being circles. Again, I'm going to try and make them equal size as best as possible. So the first one I'm going to divide into fourths, and the second one I'm going to divide into thirds. So here my denominators are different. Now I'm going to color shade in one fourth here, and since I want my numerators to be the same, I'm going to shade in one third here. So now I have one fourth and one third. And I want to compare one fourth to one third. Again, the more pieces I break up my hole into, the smaller they get. So here, the one that's broken into fourths, the pieces are smaller than the one that's broken into thirds. So if I only get one of the fourths and I only get one of the thirds, the fourths I'm actually getting less. One fourth is less than one third, just because the amount of pieces is greater. So the, the size of the pieces is smaller. And now we put it in words, one-fourth is less than one-third. Your notes should look like this now. We're ready for our third section. All right, for my last section here, I'm going to use a number line. So here's my first number line. I label my zero. I label my one. My next number line should be the same size. I label my 0, I label my 1. My top number line, I'm going to divide it into sixths. My second number line, I'm going to divide into fourths. For both of them, I'm going to label it on the second piece. That makes this one 2 sixths, and that makes this one 2 fourths. Now I have the two fractions to compare. I can see on my number line that when I divided it into sixths, the pieces were much smaller than when I divided it into fourths. That tells me that two sixths 
is less than 2 fourths. I can also tell on my number line that the 2 sixths is closer to the 0 than the 2 fourths is. That tells me that's another sign that it's less than. And now we have it in words. 2 sixths is less than 2 fourths. Your notes should now look like this. We just have one section left. Now this is the section I think you guys are really going to like. I'm going to show you um, a little math shortcut when it comes to comparing fractions. And you can use this for any two fractions that you're comparing. This is called cross multiplying. Okay, so here that means obviously we're going to use multiplication. There, this is another reason why it's very important to know your multiplications by memory. But remember that if you don't know them by memory, you should have your multiplication chart that you've created. So if you have it done, this is just another way that it, it can help you. So we're going to take the, the three sets of fractions that we've used already. The first fractions we had was 3 fourths and 3 eighths. So cross multiplying works by multiplying across. We take the 3 and the 8. 3 times 8 equals 24. You always put the product on top of where you're multiplying. Now we're going to multiply across. 3 times 4 equals 12. Here I can tell that the 24 is greater. I'm just going to put a G for greater. That tells me that the fraction on this left side, which is 3 fourths, is greater than 3 eighths because my product that was greater was on the left side. Now I'm going to take the next pair of fractions. We had 1 fourth and 1 third. And again, I'm going to multiply across and put the product up on top. 1 times 3 is 3. 1 times 4 is 4. The 3 right here is less. That tells me that the fraction on the left side, where that one is, 1 fourth is less than 1 third. Notice that the results I'm getting from cross multiplying are the same results that I got when I drew out my fraction strips or my fraction circles. Cross multiplying gives you the same result. We've seen throughout the year that in math, there's always more than one way to solve a problem. So this is just another way that you can um, use to compare your fractions. The models are a really, really great visual, but this is just another way to do it. So for the last pair of fractions, we have 2 sixths and 2 fourths. I'm going to multiply across. 2 times 4 is 8. I put my product up on top. 2 times 6 is 12. The one on the left is less than. So that tells me that 2 sixths is less than 2 fourths. Again, this is the same result we got from using the number line. This is just another way of um, figuring this out. So this is what your notes should look like in the end. We have all four sections full. Remember again that this is uh, when we're comparing fractions with the same numerator. The denominator is the really important one to look at. The more pieces your fraction is broken into, the smaller they get. So when you have the same amount of pieces, um, but your, your sections are smaller, that one is going to be less. And again, remember that you can use cross multiplying as another way to verify whether which fraction is less than or which fraction is greater than. Um, make sure you answer your reflection question and make sure you watch the video one more time after copying your notes. Bye!